Hello guys, today I am going to teach you how to get and set signal and HTTP only cookies. So let's start. You will need the cookie parser model for this. Um, you need to also, when you define the middleware, you need to pass the secret as argument and you will tell the cookie parser that you will handle signal cookies when you pass an argument to the parser then it is the secret and the cookie parser will sign the cookies when needed and also inside to decal them a cookie with the http only attribute is inaccessible to the javascript document cookie api it's only sent to the server. For example, cookies that persist in server-side sessions don't need to be available to JavaScript and should have the HTTP-only attribute. This precaution uh, helps mitigate cross-site scripting or SSS attacks. And this is from NBM. <laughs> A signed cookie is still relevant but can be tampered. For example, you have a cookie called user and is set to admin, but an attack who doesn't have access to the password can just set the cookie to user equals to admin because it needs to have the server hash. And that's unique for every cookie. So let's start. <clears throat> As you can see, I am parsing the cookie parser middleware I am passing the cookie parser middleware here because uh, I need to do this to be able to access signal cookies. Uh, if I don't do this, I won't be able to access signal cookies, so take that, have that in mind. Then, um, as you can see, I pass the secret as an argument to the cookie parser. Also, when I'm going to set the cookie, I do that. And to set the cookie, you just use the options, or well, to put the HTTP only and the signet, you just use the options as I do here. As you can see, I'm just taking the name or in the URL and then the value of my secret cookie. I am passing the options. Here are the following options HTTP only equals to true and signet equals to true. Um, when I set HTTP only to true, cookies will only be accessible on HTTP requests and when I sync them, the cookie will be signed with uh, my secret. With my secret, they will be signed with that. Um, then I return a message with the name of the cookie. Uh, for example, cookie potatoes set. And that's all I do. So let's see how it works. As you can see, I already have the server running. Um, from here, I took the paragraph. So right now, I don't have any cookie. But if I go to set cookie pepe, I have the cookie pepe set. Also, set cookie potatoes. I have the cookie potato set. And if I search in the cookies here, it says that I don't have any cookie, but if I go here to the to the root, I have these two cookies. And if I check again, I have the two cookies here, right? So I have the cookie Pepe and Potatoes. As you can see, uh, Pepe, uh, you can see the value, right? But also it has a hash. So this hash will will allow the server to check if the cookie was tampered or not. Uh, as you can see, I have my signet cookies here, and they are the code. Also, if I just um, alert, let me go to the console here. Console here, alert uh, document dot cookie. I think that's cookie. 
well uh, let me just search that uh, JavaScript document cookie okay if I do right here there, there it is document cookie okay document cookie and if I alert that oh I just write in the wrong way document cookie and as you can see uh, none of the cookies I said show and that's because they are HTTP only and can be only accessible by HTTP request and that's all for today I hope it's useful bye bye